Verto Kanban board is an Office 365 SharePoint app that can be used to create Kanban board style visualizations for SharePoint task lists. Verto Kanban board can be installed from the SharePoint store. To install the app, you simply click the settings cogwheel in the upper right hand corner of your SharePoint site. And from the settings menu, you choose the add an app option. From the Add an App page, on the left hand side in the Quick Launch, you can click the SharePoint Store. From the SharePoint Store page, there's a search box in the upper right hand corner, and from there you can type in Verto Kanban. As you can see, the app returns in the search results list. I can click the link to the app. This takes me to a page that describes more about the application, and I can choose to buy it, or I can choose to try it for 15 days for free. In my case, I've already added the app to my site, so I'm going to navigate back to my SharePoint site and walk through a demonstration of how to use it. Back in my SharePoint site, I've got a link to the app in my quick launch. I'm going to click the link. This navigates to the application's website. And as you can see, I've already got a task list that comes with the application with some tasks that have been added to it. But this is a very customizable task list. And the first thing you would typically do is use the settings in the right hand side of the page. This takes you to a settings page and here you can choose the task list that comes with the app or you can choose to customize a view for any task list that's in the hosting website. In this case I'll take a look at the task list that comes with the app and it's from the settings page that you can customize the view of the Kanban board. The number of columns can be leaked to any field that is of multiple choice within your task list. By default, the task list comes with a priority multiple choice field as well as a task status. As you can see right now, it's defaulting to priority. If I choose task status, notice how I get five columns and that's because there are five choices in task status. There's not started, in progress, completed, deferred, and waiting on someone. I'm going to go back to the default though and keep it set to priority which just has the three columns the high the normal and the low if I scroll down there's some options that I can set for example I can move things around if I want the high priority let's say to be on the right I can click the arrow which moves it over to the middle and if I click it again I can move it over to the far right so I can easily adjust which columns show up relative to the other columns uh, on the board. I'm going to set it back to the normal priority being in the middle column. Now in the middle column I have a work in progress field, property field, which is currently set to 5. You can see it there kind of in the middle. And that number indicates how many items I can have in progress that if I exceed that number then the top column's title will be displayed in a red font. So that's what that number would apply to and I'll show you that when we get back to the actual view of the list. If I click the add total, this will open up a dialog where I can specify a, a title name. So we'll call this something like demo. And then I can choose any field that's got some sort of numeric value to go with it. And in this case I'll pick the percent complete. And then I can choose what I want to display as far as a function. My function choices our sum and average will choose an average. Now what will happen is this will include uh, the sum value, the average value in my case, at the top of the column based on the percent completed of all the task list that's showing in that middle column. I'll click save to save that. If I scroll down I can also set fields that are displayed in different colors. I've got the due date currently set as the field that's going to show in red if the item is overdue. But I can add additional conditions. I can choose any field I want. Set a operator to compare it against. Then a value and a color that I want it to display as. In this case I'm going to remove that item. I've also got options for choosing what I want to show as the title field or which field I want to show as the users field and a description field. I can additionally include a filter and a field to use for the filtering. And I can also choose what happens if you double click 
the item within the task list. So I can have it set to none. I can have it open up the view form or let's switch it to the edit form. And then the additional features, I've got checkboxes, allow change view, allow create new item, allow sorting, and users can manage uh, only their own tasks as an option. Once I'm done setting my options, I click save. Go ahead and click the top logo to take me back to the main page of the site. And this shows me my tasks. I can see a couple things. I can see the red uh, font on the normal heading. And that's because I've got more than five items that I've got set to work in progress. I can also see that I've got a little indicator icon that if I click the icon, it opens up and shows me my total. And it looks like that my average, which I based on in progress, my average progress is set to 10% on all the items that are currently set to my normal priority. You can also notice that I've got a couple items, the file taxes and the take out the trash that are currently overdue. And we can verify they're overdue. I've also set the double click to open up the item in an edit view. And the current date is the 17th. And we can see in the edit view of the item that the due date is on the 15th. We'll change the due date, see if we can make the red bar go away. We'll put it a date in the future, save that. Now I can see that that red bar has gone away and I'm back to just a normal blue bar. And let's say that any item that's more than 10% complete, any task, I want to see it with a green background. I can change my settings, click my settings in the right hand side, go to my task list, scroll down a little bit, and then one of my options is the task body color. That's the one I can add a condition for, so I'll go ahead and add a condition. I'll set the condition based on the percent completed field, and we'll change the operator to is greater than, and we'll set it equal to 0 0.10. We'll change the color value, adjust the slider a little bit, set it to a greenish background, click my save option to save my setting, click the main Kanban board tab, refresh my page, and I do have a couple items in there, read a book, build a deck which are set to a little bit more than 10%. Let's take a look at read a book. We'll double click and that one's set to 22%. So in summary, Virto's Kanban board is a very customizable app, SharePoint app, for creating these Kanban style views of my SharePoint task list. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.